I think it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. You can't, I, I don't understand how people come back and do it. Nine and ten yeah. times. I came over the finish line yesterday and just like sobbed my heart out because really? I felt terrible. I threw up. Your body, it's like, you, you, you can't sleep at night because your body is just trying to repair. So your respiration is like hectic. Your body's twitching around every corner every time you see an ER24 ambulance or a mediclinic flag. It's like, okay, I'm okay. I made it. I just have to. They say ride water point to water point. I ride ambulance to ambulance. <laughs> Well, I woke up an hour early this morning. I said to Chris, Chris, we're going in early. I need to go to Medi Clinic to get my hands fixed. Otherwise, it's not going to work. <laughs> you don't just put us together. You <laughs> sort us out mentally too. <laughs> Today was really, really fantastic. I think it was nice that we knew the route. It was absolutely beautiful. I had no legs on the climbs. I had Chris to push me and pull me and had to make a lot of promises. <laughs> but otherwise, good. Yeah. We were notified of a SOS alert in the field. We dispatched our closest resources. There was a paramedic that was flown in by helicopter, a motorbike team and a 4x4 ambulance. A patient was unfortunately injured and was medevaced off the mountain to the closest, most appropriate medical facility. ER24, all the medical personnel, all the drivers, the ambulance, the helicopter, we really appreciate you. We couldn't do stuff like this without you.